I forgot that Kate Seath had that ruthlessness uh, in him. Oh. Hmm. Neat. I think it should be Kate Sith and uh, Barrett. So I think what is um Aries a permanent member now? Right. I oh, know she. Okay, no, we, we can still take her there. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Who else? Um. Probably Sid. Because he's got all those material on him. But we can also um, talk to people. So, starting to get nervous. Starting to get nervous. You know, no, forget it. I think she's upset. She wants to be in the party with Cloud. Gotta keep moving. It's like he didn't realize what happened here. I'm I'm now very interested to see like what happens when um the Barrett's the date. His, his tail starting to tingle. Tingle tail. Might get <laughs> might get pretty interesting. All right, uh, let's get you out of here. Uh, okay, what do you say? I don't care what's going on. Alright. Alright, cute. Cute. This is gonna be the party. Um, so... Uh, Alright, okay. So we're gonna swap out... Uh, Barrett. Give to you. Yep, and we're gonna actually switch some weapons around because otherwise we're not making best use. Yeah, the Aurora. Aurora! Oop. Oh, damn it, I messed up. Okay, so where did where did that one go to? Probably that, yep. Let's arrange. Good. Alright, I can live with that. Let's go. Fuck you, Catsith. Fuck are you. Now I've got my five. So let's go to station. Will the uh, the GP man be there? Nope. Okay, so first I want to... Save in the last slot. And then we want to do Barrett. Uh, um, slot. One. Um, you. So, I'm going to cut the music on that one. I'm going to go to the, uh, the Chivo screen. Which one is it? On the day with Barrett. Now, there's there's something you can do to make Barrett... Um... Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay, there is a way to do it, but like, uh, 
I might have to backtrack for this particular achievement. Like, really backtrack. Uh, and that's something I don't want to do. Okay, so, like, there's apparently... And, like, I, can canonically, I wanted to go on a date with Aerith. Aerith. So, um... That's fine. So apparently, like, when you first go to Cosmo Canyon, and you split up, there's, like, a, um... A scene where you can talk to him. And I guess that casts interaction. So that raises his, um... There's like a dialogue um, tree that you can re repeat, and uh, that's the way to easily get his affection level up in order to have the date with him. Mm. Yes. Okay. But what we can do is quickly look at um, what this would be looking like, because I'm not going to do it. So let me just um switch over to is that Marlene, my my baby. Yep. <laughs> so that that's the Barrett date. We we've got the canonically uh correct and best date, uh Eris. So there's of course um the Tiffa date and the Yuffie date, but you know. If you want to have a look at that stuff, you can look on YouTube. Alright. Let's get back to doing the Upload Ancients time. Actually, do we, no. We don't want to go to back. Uh, we don't want to go back to the battle square right now. I I I don't want to grind. I just want to get out of here. Put the bad memories. Of uh, Marlene being taken hostage out of my mind. We've got the keystone. We can go to the uh, the temple of the ancients now. But I might want to make a quick um, visit to Fort Condor. I want to give it some money so it doesn't run out of money because if it runs out of money I miss out on an achievement. We do not want this to happen. So Fort Condor, is it going to be far away away? Let me just let me just think here. Can I take the June buggy to I think I can. So that's what we're going to do. It's a fair ways but Okay, so that's going saucer. Eh. We gotta go to um, Costa del Sol to get on the ship. Well, actually, technically, I guess we don't. We could go all the way back to our ship, the tiny Bronco, and then find our way to get all the way back to where we need to go to, but. It's fine, we'll just do it this way. Stop with the random battles, god damn it. Ooh, 777. Hit it with that chop. Skerrix of experience because we're so over leveled. Now, I think because we were able to drive our buggy into town, once we stow away and we get off, we will also be able to take our Doom buggy. Fun fact. Very fun fact. 100 gil. Pay up. Get on the ship. And I think that there's a, a taxi in Junon, so we can get out there quick. And I keep dropping frames. We're now at 44,868 drop frames, or 2.8% of my stream. All because I chose to have a VPN. And the VPN server this time turns out to be absolute garbage. So, 
I got unlucky. What can you say? Alright. Oh. I want to park my Big Mac truck in your tiny garage. Aww. Now we could be like President Shinra. If they will drop me off in the buggy. Yep. Cool. Alright, now we gotta go all the way back to Fort Condor and hope that they haven't gone through all the money. My suspicion is they have. No, we're not finding you. Don't touch. Don't touch on Twitch. Where's that Fort Condor? Okay, down below. Just get this out of the way and then we'll go to the Temple of the Ancients. Which is, um, I believe, the last area that you can um, muck around with Aeriths, I believe. Could be wrong. You might be able to take your into who. No, you, you, I think you're able to take her into the um, the um, city of the ancients. So one time, okay. Yeah, we're gonna top that right up. Okay, they need three thousand every time. I got the good items from you the first two battles. Like, we, we good, homie. We good. I ain't wasting my time on this game anymore. Like, I, I gave my money. Good luck with that. It's, it's like the Ukrainian war. I don't want to be involved, but you can take my money and my weapons. Fight the good fight. Junon. Oh, it's got a beak. I didn't notice that. A Totoro body and a chicken beak. The enemies in Final Fantasy VII, they were very, like, um, fantastical, I want to say. Oh, 
Oh, Priscilla. Let's uh, say hello to Priscilla, who gave us the Shiva material and the Mr. Dolphin whistle. Mr. Dolphin. Oh, she misses Mr. Dolphin. But bottom swell fucked her up a little bit, so she's got to rest and recover. Ten gil? Bargain. All that just to ensure that I won't mess up the four condor. But it's worth it. It's worth it. It's something like 15 or so battles. 15 or 20 battles. You gotta make sure that they've got enough money. The only thing that you can get in battles from, like, past the first two is, like, um... A mega elixir here or there. And an uh, elixir, it's, like, not worth it. Not even a, a mega elixir would be worth it, really. I mean, honestly, yes, they're very good items to have, but you shouldn't need a Mega Elixir with a game as easy as Final Fantasy VII. There, I said it. Like, honestly, if you've got, like, um, X Potions and, um, the proper enemy skill and, uh, Turbo Elixirs, like, you're good. You're good. Let me stow away on the ship. There's no reason to check anything here because nothing has changed from memory. I wonder if there'll ever be another composer as good as Nobuo Uematsu. Too many, too many classic tunes. Too many. Like the Overworld theme, legendary. I'm not sure if that was like, um, like a modification of an existing theme. I don't think so. I think this is original to Final Fantasy VII. A lot of tunes, um, iconic tunes, are original to Final Fantasy VII. They really went all out when they went to PlayStation. To think that Nintendo effed up by going cartridge, which put off Square, which made them go with uh, Sony because of the um, fact they were going CDs, which are cheaper to make. Makes you think. They could have had um, continued exclusivity with the Final Fantasy franchise and blown everyone else out of the water. Instead, they allowed Sony a foot in the door, and now they have a permanent competitor. And I think a large part of that is because of the exclusivity that they lost with Final Fantasy. Makes you think. Come on. Can I please run away now? Thank you.
now finding Nemo, no, finding my my dad, finding my horse's dick, no, finding my tiny bronco should be fairly straightforward matter. keep thinking is there something that I can do with this near um near this area you know, remember like there was a cave and there should be like a person sleeping and that person that's sleeping they usually will tell you how many battles you've um how many battles you've had in the entirety of the game and if it's a, an even number you're able to no, no, if, if the numbers are the same, so like, you know, 111 or 222, then you can, um, meet up with the guy to get access to the chests in that solitary house. I think that's how I remember it. Or maybe he just gives you an item. Oh, Sid, <laughs> what was that? That was a good crit. Was it around this area? Or was it around Mount Nebel? Could be around Mount Nebel. Nebel Knebel. Let's just kill. Probably, probably quicker than running away. close by now that makes me think is there something close here I can't remember so don't worry about it I'll just get in the in the um on the boat some material god I can't I can't tell maybe that one I think it was one of the gray ones it don't matter So we're going for a bit of a journey. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I've got to go over the top of the island. All right. Can I just cut through here? Yeah, can I just cut through here? Mm, yes. Right, and was there something here? No, 
I'm, I'm trying to remember what that is. I think that's um, Gone Saucer. Yeah. I wonder if you say something different now. Because I've got the keystone now. He won't let me touch it still. Alright. Oh wait, he, he can give us a free rest in the bed. Might as well. That free rest. Let me... Get out of the way. Let me get out of the way. Get out of the way. Yep. I'm absolutely sure you can glitch to get to get past certain areas. I'm certain of it. I might need to look at like speedrunner videos. They'd be the people that would know. There it is. So who's in our party? Barrett. No Sid. All right. Let's do this. Oh, she can, oh, on her knees, she can feel, feel the life force. Cloak people up top. Oh, the black cloak, uh, cloaked person came out, but collapsed. Black materia. What number is he? Number nine. What happened there? Oh, we well, off to heaven. Wow. Temple of the Ancients. Alright. Sing. Look at the mask behind him. I never noticed that before. Yeah, well said, Aerith. Still standing. 
Let's have a have a look at that thing. Spooky. And if I remember correctly, you sink into the floor. It looks cool. Yep. 